Hey everybody, welcome to Buratech. In this episode, I'm gonna be giving a review of the Logitech M570. All right, welcome back. Before we start this video, I wanna make sure that you like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribers we get, the more content we can make. So I made a video saying how Logitech is a very underrated company, and you can check out that video right here. Now I'm gonna be talking about this particular trackball here, because this particular trackball has saved me a ton of pain, and I use it for practically every computer that I buy. Now I actually have three of these, one for my PC at work, one for my Mac at work, and one for my laptop at home. And the reason why I do this is because I used to have a ton of problems using mice. Now the traditional mouse, what I would use is because I'm using computers all day, I would get this huge shooting pain in my arm. And basically I said, well, if I use a trackball instead, well, I don't think I'll have that problem. And that's exactly what happened. Now the learning curve to get on the trackball was a little bit tricky, but once I figured it out, it actually worked out pretty well. So if you want to move to a trackball, keep in mind there is a learning curve. So one of the things I love about the trackball is that I can pretty much use it anywhere. So I can use it on a table, I can use it on my lap, I can use it behind my head, and I actually do all of these things. Because one of the things that's hard about repetitive stress is that your arm or part of your body isn't really moving enough. Now, of course, I'm not a doctor, and if you have repetitive stress symptoms, then please check your doctor. I'm just telling you what's worked for me. Now, like I said, if I'm using this on a table, then my arm might be in the same position for a long time, especially if I'm focusing and concentrating on a mouse-heavy task on the computer. So what I do instead is I might actually just do this, and I literally do this for a little while just to move my arm in a different position. And I do move it, for example, I can move it here. And the best thing about this particular trackball is that you can move this in all these locations, and that also works out pretty well. Now, if you really are concerned about repetitive stress, the best thing you can do is take a break and move around a bit. But if you really are on a deadline like me, since I've been a freelancer for forever, I've been basically used these in different positions, and that's worked out a lot for me. So let's talk a little bit about this trackball itself. Now, the one thing that I absolutely love about the trackball is that it's very light and easy. So Logitech has a more expensive trackball called the MX Ergo, which you can see here, and I personally didn't like it as much. I like this trackball a lot better than the MX Ergo. And the one reason that I like this trackball better than the MX Ergo is that the MX Ergo is just simply too heavy. This is a fairly light piece of equipment. It's not cheap, as in too light, but it's light enough. Now, the only thing that I really don't like about this is that it doesn't have Bluetooth, but it does have a receiver. Now, one of the things that I like about the receiver is that you can just simply plug it in and it will work. Bluetooth has a very poor user experience, and I really hate pairing Bluetooth. It is terrible, but it is good because you can technically move it everywhere and you don't get to use a USB slot. Now, one of the things I really wish this had was a USB-A connector and a USB-C connector. This doesn't have a USB-C connector and USB-C is coming out. Now, one of the things I really hope Logitech doesn't do is get rid of this mouse. If they do, I'll buy five of them because I absolutely love this here and I really wish it had USB-C. But nevertheless, I really think this is a really good trackball and if you are having problems with repetitive stress or your arm is just starting to ache because that's really a problem in itself. If your arm is starting to ache because you're on the computer too much, that's a warning sign of future problems down the road. And because of that, I would recommend switching to something like this. Now, there are different trackballs out there. Personally, I've tried a lot of them. I've probably maybe purchased five or six different brands over the years, and I always come back to this one. Even after I purchased the MX Ergo, I said this one's a lot better. I actually returned the MX Ergo and just bought one of these. And the funny thing is, is that, again, I own three of these things, and I probably go through them every two years just because I use them every day. So in conclusion, I actually cannot live without this trackball. This trackball has made not only my career good, but it's made my life a lot less painful. And that is something that's really good. So let me know in the comments, have you used this trackball? Do you know another trackball that's better? Please write them down below. I really want to know. 
Also, please be sure to like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribers we get, the more content we can make. Also, if you really like this channel, this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital products down below. The more money we get from the content that you buy below, the more free content on this channel we can make. And if you're a real big fan of this channel, you could subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month, and we have monthly and yearly options. It really helps us out when you subscribe to Mammoth Interactive. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.